Hello, I'm Susan Smith with One Yoga, and this is your 20-minute home yoga practice. It all begins with the assessment series. We start in child's pose, but you may want to tap in, tune in, and notice what's going on in your body. So come to your mat, separate your knees, bring your big toes to touch, let your buttocks come back and sit on your heels, drape your body forward and surrender. Feel the floor and breathe. As you inhale, start to rise up to hands and knees, curl your toes under, and lift your hips up to downward facing dog. And take a few minutes. You might need to bend a knee or wiggle around and then settle into stillness. Press evenly through both hands. The sit bones are lifted high. The belly is drawn in. The legs are engaged. Breath in and out. Breath in and out. And slowly begin to walk your feet. Heel toe, heel toe. Walk up to the top of the mat, still noticing what's going on in your body. And when you arrive at the top, separate the feet about two fists distance, grab hand to opposite elbow, and let your torso, let your head, let your upper body just hang. Surrender into this moment and let go of all attachments. Breathe into the belly. And as you exhale, feel it soften into the thighs. Relax your head, your neck, and your jaw. Breathe. Take a full breath in. And on your next exhale, just soften the arms and begin to unroll the spine. Rebuilding it one vertebrae at a time. Sweep those arms up overhead. And as you exhale, bring your hands in, heart center, and then open your palms facing forward. Come into mountain pose. Make any adjustments. Head over shoulders. Shoulders over hips. Hips over ankle bones. Legs engaged. Belly drawn in and up and feel the breath rise and descend up and down the spine. On the next inhale, start to sweep your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, bring your hands through heart center and just pause. Create an intention for your practice. In this moment, I will practice presence. Breath in, arms sweep up, exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale and lengthen the spine, lifting the torso halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back along. Take a breath, let the heart lift, the legs be strong. Exhale, step back, high push-up position. Find high push-up, take a breath, and then exhale, low push-up position. Elbows hug the ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, chin lock, belly lock, downward facing dog. And then just take a breath, just be here right now, breath in and out. On the next inhale, lift the right leg up behind the body. And as you exhale, round the belly, step it forward. 
Take a full breath, let the gaze lift. Exhale, step forward, fold in half. Inhale, rise through, flat back, sweep those arms up overhead. Strength from feet to fingertips. Exhale, bow forward again. As you inhale, lengthen that spine, flat back position. Exhale, step the right foot back long. Breath in, strong legs, open heart. Exhale, step back, high push up. Find your push up. Breathe in. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, rise to upward facing dog. Exhale, chin lock, belly lock, pull back, downward facing dog. And then just be one breath in stillness. Inhale, and then begin to lift the left leg up behind the body. As you exhale, round the belly, step the foot up to the left thumb. Take a breath, feel the breath rise up the spine. Exhale, step forward, fold in half. Hips are over ankle bones. Inhale, come through that flat back. Sweep the arms up. And exhale, release the arms down to the side, mountain pose. Breath in, sweep those arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward, soft knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the left foot, then the right foot back, high push up to low push up. Inhale, roll those shoulders open to up dog. Exhale, pull back, down dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, right leg lifts. And as you exhale, round the belly, step it all the way up. Now be strong in the legs, light in the hands. Breathe, exhale, step forward, fold in half. Inhale, come through that flat back, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot, then the left foot back, and move high to low push up. Inhale, roll over up dog. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward. Let the gaze lift, be strong in the legs. Exhale, step forward, fold in half. Inhale, rise to standing, rise and shine, sweep those arms up. And then exhale, mountain pose. Feel the energy rise from feet to crown of head. Breath in, arms up. And then exhale, just begin to come down and have a seat on your buttocks. Extend your legs straight forward. Dandasana, staff pose. The body forms an L position. The right leg bends up and then fans open to the side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge over that extended left leg. Option to hold the ankle or bring the hands underneath the foot, leading with the heart and breathing. Inhale, come through, flat back, sweep those arms up. And then exhale, take that right leg, cross it right over the left thigh, and then begin to take a twist. So your right arm comes behind you, and your left elbow or tricep is used as a lever. Create spinal length by pressing into that right hand, and then exhale, use that left arm and twist from the belly all the way up to the crown of the head. Gaze goes over that right shoulder. Breathe in and out. As you inhale, come back center, sweep both arms up, and then exhale, hands down by the hips, 
come right back to that staff pose. Inhale, left knee bends up. Exhale, fan it open. As you inhale, reach those arms up, spine will length, and then exhale, hinge over that extended right leg, fold forward. So the same principles, you're leading with your heart. Your belly may or may not be compressed against the thighs, but the shoulder blades draw down, the right leg's engaged, and you're fully present in this moment. Start to lift that torso up. And then as you exhale, take that left leg, cross it over the right. Bring the left hand behind you. Press into the left hand. Nice spinal length. And then exhale, pull the belly button in and twist. Rinse out the internal organs. Close your eyes and breathe. Inhale, come back center. Extend both legs out, and then exhale, arms out to the side, hands down by the hips, staff pose. So your body's forming this beautiful L position, and you're just there. Breath in. Sweep those arms up, and then exhale, hinge and fold over those legs. Paschimottanasana. So you can grab the soles of your feet, your ankles, Traditionally, you bring all four fingers to the outside pinky edge of the foot and the thumb press in where the big toe connects to the foot. The elbows come out to the sides, shoulder blades draw down the body and you deepen in with the breath to this posture. Inhale, come through, flat back, sweep those arms up. And then exhale, using your core, roll all the way down to the mat. Inhale, full body stretch. Then as you exhale, pull that right knee into the chest. Flex both feet and give that knee a hug. And using your left hand, you're going to start to extend that right arm out to the side. And then you're going to begin very slowly to carry that right leg off to the left side of the body. Your gaze can go off to the right thumb. You can gently use your left hand to press and encourage that right leg down to the floor, opening through the whole back side of the body. Bring that knee back center, give it a little hug, and then straighten that leg up in the air, bring your nose up to your knee, and work to keep that left calf down on the floor, using both your core and working the hamstring. And then just start to flex that right foot and then point. Inhaling, flexing it, exhaling, pointing it. And then release it and let that leg just float on down. And then just rest and feel. You may notice that it feels longer. Take a full body stretch. And then exhale, pull that left knee into the chest. Flex both feet. And just kick up the synovial fluid here in that hip. Hug it on in and breathe. And this time you're going to use your right hand. It's going to be your guide. That right leg nice and bright and active. And begin to carry that left leg 
across the body for a spinal twist. Reach that left arm out shoulder level and let your gaze just kind of block over towards the left thumb. You can use that right hand to increase the mobility and the stretch, allowing that left knee to come towards the earth. Nourish, nurture, open, release. Inhale, bring that left knee back center. And as you exhale, straighten it up, flex that left foot. Use the core. And inhale, just flex and point the foot. slowly release that neck and shoulders. Let that leg just float on down. And float. One more posture. So hug those knees into the chest. And you could just stay right there, nose towards the knees. Or come into rabbit pose where all four fingers wrap underneath the soles of the feet and kick the feet forward and breathe. And then make your way to Shavasana, slowly releasing. Rock your head side to side. Make any adjustments with your shoulders away from the ears. Let your legs flop open. Relax. We're going to be working through a hand mudra, lightly touching our thumb to each finger and then hand wide open. Soften and feel your body. I am whole. Perfect strong, powerful, and hand wide open, loving, harmonious, and happy. Release, relax, let go.